Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and if you're new here, make sure you hit that sub button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Lots of people forget to hit that bell and that's what lets you know when new videos are coming out and that you can see them right away. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about green clay. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about green clay. A lot of people use it for masks, for their skin, for impurities, for tightening and toning their skin. Today we're going to use it in a little bit of a different method. This is um, definitely something we love to have on hand. We bought this, I want to say like four years ago and there's still so much left of it. I think at the time, yeah, at the time we paid about $12 for this. It may have went up a little bit, but you can actually get this on Amazon or just at your you know, natural health food store. They should have green clay there. So what we're going to be using this for is a variety of skin things. So you can use it as a face mask for impurities, just for toning and tightening your skin. Today we're going to use it for medicinal reasons. So one thing that we love about green clay is that um, we can actually make this ahead of time and have it on hand whenever we need it. So it's not something we need to make as we need it. We just use all you really need is a container that is an, like an airtight container. So this is perfect. And we just have this on our counter by our sink all the time, mainly because I'm prone to needing it quite often. So some people have asked me in the past, like what is green clay? Essentially it is um, minerals, iron oxides and composted um, organic matter such as kelp, seaweed, um, algae that is con like contains chlorophyll. And what it actually does, it is negatively charged ions in this and it draws in positively charged ions from your body such as impurities, toxins, and heavy metals. And that's why people tend to put it on their skin because it will dry th draw those impurities out from the skin. And we're actually going to be applying it to the skin as well. So what our main thing that we actually use green clay for is for things such as burns. Now I wouldn't say use it for like a very bad burn, but minor burns around the house like me I'm a little bit prone to burns when it comes to the oven um, I tend to get um, little burns on my on my arms and my hands whatnot this has been phenomenal so all we do is I'm going to show you how to do it but we apply this to burns it soothes the burns so much that they, it actually you can feel the burning sensation go away and it actually prevents scarring. So we love this for burns. The other thing that I have used it for, we have lots of raspberries, blueberries, hascaps, currants, tons of berries around the home, even grapes, we grow grapes. And there are tons of wasps around. And in the summertime, when it comes time to harvest those fruits, I tend to get stung a lot. And this is really great to apply to um, bug bites and stings. And it actually, when you apply it, it stops that pain from a sting right away. So it actually just draws out those poisons of things from their insect bites or stings and it stops the pain and it does really well. It's really easy. All you need is some green clay and it's powder actually. And you just need some water and an airtight container and then something to mix it with. This thing goes so far, so you don't need to buy like a huge container of it. And this is what it looks like. It's just a powdery substance and you don't even need a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to put it in the container. As you can see, there's not much there. And I'm just going to add a little bit more just so you can see it a little bit better. And there it is there. And then all we need to have is some water. It doesn't matter if it's warm or cold. And all we're going to do is just going to add a little bit at a time because you don't want it too runny. You want to make a paste with it and just adding a little bit, even that might be a little bit too much. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think it is a little bit too much water. So you don't need much at all. But the nice thing is, is no matter how much you do make, it lasts forever on the counter. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add a little bit more of the green clay. And a lot of the things that we use around here for natural remedies are home remedies. For one, they're inexpensive, and for two, they're really simple to make. Just add a couple more scoops there. Basically, you want it so that when you're putting it on your skin, it's not going to like drip off. So when you do leave it on the counter, it is going to dry up. It's going to be cracked and completely dried. So all you need to do when it gets to that point is just add a couple little drops of water and get that paste built back up. It just lasts. It's not. If you can see it, it's not too bad, but I would like it a little thicker than that. A little scoop, this should do it. I think it should do it. Oh yeah, it's definitely thickened up. This is a, I don't know if you can see that now. That's kind of what you want it to be like. 
Now, definitely like anything else, um, if you've never used um, the green clay before, definitely test it on a small part of your skin just to make sure that you're not going to have any reactions or allergic reactions to this. So, I mean, that goes for anything new that you try. Always try it in small amounts first, just as a little test to make sure that you can use it in larger quantities on your skin. All right, so I'm just going to show you here another, another few things we like to have around the the house. Now these are just from the dollar store, really cheap. Again, you don't need to be expensive when you're using natural remedies. So basically something like this would come in really handy if you had like a larger spot that you wanted to put it on. Just having some like gauze and stuff around. It doesn't get your clothes dirty and it doesn't rub off your skin. Uh, it's just something to protect it and to keep it there and hold it in place. So gauze again, $1.25 from the dollar store, and then just some tape just to keep it in place. Or you could use a paper towel, just cover it up and put tape over it as well. For the most part, um, I don't typically need to do that unless it's like a burn, like I said, where I would have like a long sleeve shirt or something on. So most of the time, what I do is when I put it on my skin, I can just show you here kind of what I do. Say that I had a burn or a wasp bite or a bug bite or something. All I would do is just take a little bit and just rub it on or say that like my finger, cause they tend to get burns on them too. You just do that. Sometimes they get stings on them too. And you're just going to rub that on there like that. And that's basically all you're going to want to do. Put like a thick amount on the spot that's actually um, hurting or has been affected by a burn or something. Like I said, if you're having like a large severe burn, definitely go to the hospital. Don't worry about applying this. But for those like everyday little burns that you get from using your oven or something like that, this is perfect for it. Anyways, you just want to leave that on and all that I do, if it's on my hand or somewhere, like if I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, I'll just leave it like this and it'll completely dry out and it'll actually just flake off. One thing about this green clay, it's cool. It actually soothes any pain that you might have. It's also been known to um, stimulate circulation and just kind of bring the blood to that area and help heal it. The other thing is, is that um, people have been known to put it on their like sore muscles. And because of its cooling and soothing effect, it's, it's been known to help relieve some of that um, discomfort with their muscles. This one here, just because I don't have so much on it, it is drying up. What I would do, say if I had a burn or insect bite that was hurting, I would leave that on. And if you're not feeling the pain um, go away right away, I would just let that sit there a little bit and then I would wipe it off and reapply it until you feel um, the relief and no pain with that burn or bug, like the bug bite. So if you're at that point and there's no pain, I would just leave it on there until it completely flakes off and just wipe it off. And that is all that there is to that. You don't really need to reapply it again. The only time, like I said, that I do reapply it if I still feel the pain afterward. That's how simple it is. And like I said, just kind of leave it on your counter. You want to leave, um, make sure it's in an airtight container on your counter. And then the next time you need to use it, especially you know, if you're cooking and you burn something, just add a little bit more water and just add it to your sore. And that's just how easy it is. So green clay is something that we do really um, recommend that every household should have this on hand for those, those minor little things. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this little um, natural remedy or home remedy that we have for these little ailments that might come up in our home. So we don't need to um, maybe be in so much just comfort and pain. And the other thing is you can use this for your skin too, just for um, so it's got a little bit of um, double purpose. So if you've enjoyed this video on how to use green clay for things like such as bug bites or burns, um, you may enjoy some of our other home remedies or home natural remedies videos. We actually started a playlist for things such as cough syrups. We've got a couple different cough syrups you can try. Um, really easy to do. Plus you already know what's in them. There's no chemicals. They're just home-based remedies for cough syrups. There's also other things that we have there as well, such as poultices, and we'll be continuing to add some home remedies to share with you as we go ahead and use them. So please, um, if you're wanting to see these videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can see these great natural home remedy videos coming out as they come out. And uh, thanks for joining us here once again at Plowman's Backyard.